All right, I'm here with Tyler Gaffleone, uh, champion jockey, 2015 Apprentice Eclipse winner. Tyler, thank you so much for joining me today. No, thanks for having me on. So obviously a really exciting weekend this past weekend with Got Stormy and the Grade 3 Honey Fox um, and a lot of accolades that go along with your name. To kind of get started, what was it like growing up with a father and a father that were both jockeys? Kind of, did you always uh, feel like an expectation from them that you also would be a jockey? Uh, not entirely. My dad kind of let me do my own thing. Uh, he let me uh, figure out what I wanted to do. But from a young age, I always wanted to be a jockey. Just growing up around the industry, uh, I had I lived on a farm when I was younger, so always grew up around horses. We had horses on the farm. So I fell in love at a young age, and it just kind of seemed like the right move for me. And I was very comfortable around horses at all times. So uh, everything just worked out. <laughs> How did they feel about you then choosing that career path? Were they ecstatic? Were they nervous? Uh, my father was very uh, excited, uh, also nervous at the same time. But uh, my mother wasn't the biggest fan of it. She uh, still isn't, but, uh, you know, she, she lives with it. Yeah, I don't blame her there. Um, you know, you won, I mentioned, the champion, champion apprentice job in 2015. Who would you say is, were your mentors who you were not your start of your career? I'm sorry, could you say that again? Yeah, I mentioned your champion apprentice you know, jockey in 2015 that you won, who would you say your mentors were in the jockey? Uh, and foremost, definitely my father. Uh, he was there from day one, um, criticizing me and uh, kind of encouraging me to just better myself and make a career out of this. But um, I was a huge fan of Jerry Bailey growing up. Uh, I've been able to develop a relationship with him the past few years. I call him about a couple races here and there and just kind of get his insight uh, i've been talking to mike smith since i was probably 13 years old i used to call him every week and uh, he's been a huge benefit as far as my career and uh Edgar prado as well uh, he's really stepped up in the josh room uh, any questions i have he's, he's really been there the, the whole way really it's amazing um to kind of go along with got stormy and following her grade three victory this past weekend you've ridden her for most of her starts uh since her maiden victory in february 2018 what would you say she means to you? Uh, it's hard to put into words she's such an incredible filly she shows up every time and she she really gives her all every every chance she gets uh there's never been a race that i was disappointed in her she she's always there for me you know she's she's special to me Pretty cool born you two. Uh, what would you think her personality is like? Uh, she's so calm before the race. It, it's just like another day. Uh, but it, in the race, she she's so focused. Uh, she knows exactly what she has to do. She knows where the wire is. And she shows up every time. I mean, she's the most consistent horse I've ever been around. And it's truly a pleasure to get to work, get to work with her. With that being said, what would you say is your favorite race you two have been in together? Uh, it's tough. Uh, I would say the De La Rose at Saratoga. Um, I think it was uh, 2019. 2019. Uh, her race right before the four star day. If I rode her in the prep, and I had been working her all summer, and she she was really sitting on a big race, and I, I had so much confidence in her, and it, it was just a lot of fun that day. And then for her to come back and win the four star day, I was so excited for it. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to ride her that day just because due to prior commitments with uh, Mark Cassie, but I was so happy for her. She, she really deserved it. Yeah, I was going to bring that up, and I thought, okay, kind of a tricky question, but, you know, what was that like, I guess, sitting back and then watching her win? Was that difficult to not be you know, on her, obviously, or were – I know you said you were proud. So what was that like? I, you know, I, I'm a team player. Um, Mark's been so great to me through the years, so uh, there was no uh, hard feelings there. Um like I said, it was a late, it was a late decision, and uh, I had prior commitments with uh, another horse in the race. And, but I was just so happy for the filly; she really deserved to get that Grade One, especially. I mean, in the fashion she did in the Four Star Day, uh, it was so impressive. But I was so happy for her and Ricardo. Even after the race, I got back with him. I was, I felt like just as pumped as he was. Uh, I was very excited for the filly. That's awesome. I mean, I'm sure. A lot of emotions in that, but definitely exciting that you guys, too, are still a pair of you and got Stormy and still are riding her, obviously. I know you've had a lot of achievements, including the grade one Preakness with War of Will. Would you say that's your most memorable win, or would you have to say there's another one in there that's more memorable? 
Uh, there's quite a few. Uh, definitely, I mean, prestigious. Why the Preakness stakes? I mean, it goes back as far as history can remember. But uh, I would say the Matriarch was pretty special. That, that I mean, it's a Grade One out in California, and it's it's a big race at the end of the year. I think it's one of the last Grade Ones of the year, so that was pretty special. Especially to get my first Grade or our first Grade One together with Stormy. I mean, it was pretty special. I was there for that race, actually. Interesting that in person. So it was very cool to watch, and what a cool memory for both of you, including Got Stormy. Um, what would you say you're most excited for for her future? I guess the next steps in her career. I'm really excited for her this year. You know, uh, coming off of last year, she started a little slow, but she started to pick up her feet towards the end of the year. Uh, we tried her sprinting, and she seemed to really relish in that aspect. Um, uh, she's she's really just a tremendous filly. I'm I'm excited to see where the road takes us this year. Awesome, well, Tyler. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk. I know you're a busy guy down in Florida, so um, we appreciate it and can't wait to see what you and Got Stormy do together in the future. Oh, my pleasure. Uh, thanks for having me on, and I'm I'm really excited for the My Race Horse team to be part of the Got Stormy story. Yeah, we'll we see feel that. Like we love to hear that. So thank you. <laughs> Don't miss any of the action from the My Race Horse Stable. Subscribe today.